I'm Michael Lahoud. Welcome to the Dribbling Technique video. In this video, we're going to work on the very basics of dribbling. Dribbling is important because that's how we get up and down and all around the soccer field. So come on, let's go have some fun. Dribbling is one of the most important skills that we're going to use in soccer. Like I said before, it's how we get around the field. So before we touch the ball, we're going to learn two stances that are going to help us dribble. One is our learning stance where we stand straight up, ball in front of us, arms are our side, some else showing us, learning stance. And then our doing stance where we get into an athletic position. Down, we feel strong, we feel strong. Mel, can we flex the biceps? Strong, strong, good. So Mel's gonna start by tapping the ball back and forth with the inside of both feet. You ready? Go. Nice and easy. Look, she's going slow for a reason. It's because we wanna learn we want to make sure our technique is good. Good, Mel. Right, left, right, left, right, and stop. Now we're going to do that again, and this time we're going to go a little bit faster, but not too crazy, because we want to learn and get better. So Mel, on my go, you start. Ready, go. Nice, keep going. A couple times more, and stop. Okay. We want to challenge ourselves, we want to pick up the pace a little bit, but make sure we're learning, we're growing, and as always, we're having fun. And to do that, we're going to push a little bit. You ready for that, Mel? Ready. Cool. So Mel, you're going to start back, the ball to the line. Good, good, good. And Mel's going to start by dribbling forward, touching the ball between her feet, nice and slow. You ready? Go. And I'll tell you when to stop. Keep going, keep going, and stop. All right, now that we've done the inside of the foot dribbling, we're gonna do outside of the foot. You good with that, Mel? All right, we're gonna start learning stance as always, doing stance, learning stance, and get right into it with doing stance. So, unlike tapping the ball with the inside of our feet back and forth, we're gonna do that outside. So good. Can you show us? Good. Look. Mel's making sure she goes nice and slow just to get a feel for the ball. Ball is under control. Do two more. One and two. And she's going to stop. And this one, we're going to see her pick up the speed a little bit, but not too fast. Make sure she picks up the speed. Ready? On my, on my go. Ready? Go. Good. She's focused. She's keeping her eyes down at her feet, making sure the ball is right there. Let's do two more touches and stop. Just like we did with the previous exercise, we're gonna push Mel back. So start back at the white line so we can see what it looks like as she moves forward. Ready, set, go. She's pushing the ball forward outside the feet. Look at her face, look at the termination. Sorry, just keep going. Good, Mel. Always using the outside, shifting her weight side to side. All right, come forward. We're gonna finish up our dribbling technique by doing inside, outside, and combining them both. All right, this one can get a little tricky, so pay attention. So Mel's gonna touch the ball inside with her right foot and then touch it outside of her left foot. Good, she's already ahead of me. Keep going, you got this. Inside, outside, inside, outside. And she's going slow, but she's pushing herself. So you can do this at home as well. Inside, outside, inside, outside of the opposite foot. Inside, outside of the opposite foot. Two more, good. Last one, good. All right, now let's see Mel do that a little bit faster in place. Got that? Good. On my go. Ready, set, go. Good, she's got great balance. And you see her arms are always over by her side, making sure she feels strong and she feels balanced. All right, four, three, two, and last one, one, good. And we're gonna push Mel back like we've done before. So we see it as she moves forward. So we can all put this together. This is gonna be how we dribble in an actual game. Go! Good, inside, good. Good job, good stop. And great job. All right guys, this is the last part. I really wanna show you this. This is how it's gonna look in real time. I'm gonna try my best to keep you under control. Coming at you live. Ready, go. Whoa! The mistakes are gonna happen when we're gonna do this, and that brings up perseverance. When things go wrong, or we make a mistake, just keep playing, because that's how you get better. You guys good? All right.
Hey, it's me, Coach Michael. Today we're gonna play the Gates game. And the Gates game is pretty simple. You're gonna need two cones or two water bottles or whatever objects you have at home. And the object of the game is to dribble through the goals. Come on, let's go have some fun. Dribbling is one of the most common things we'll be doing in soccer, and we have a fun way to practice our dribbles. So Coach Mel, you're gonna show us the Gates game. We're gonna have cones or whatever objects you guys have at home and place them all around our play space. So we've had three goals here. So let's start out with this game with three goals when you're at home as well. So the object of this game is to use our different ways of dribbling to get through the cones or the gates. And once you get through a gate, find a new gate to get through. And we want to be in control. And remember, practice makes perfect. So Coach Mel, you ready? She's gonna start in the middle and on my go, she's gonna pick whatever gate she wants to go to first. Ready, go, and start nice and slow. Good, and once she's gotten through all three, she's gonna pick up the speed a little bit. You see her, all right, now she can go, go for it. Good, that's one gate. Good, she's using inside of her foot, outside of her foot dribbling, ole, it's okay, keep going. All right, and can we get two more gates? Good. Using both feet, last gate, awesome, and time. Awesome, great job coach, how do you feel? So good. One thing to take note of, and Coach Mel just did a great job of it, is responsibility. Sometimes as we're doing this drill, we're gonna knock stuff over, hopefully we don't break stuff, but mistakes are gonna happen, things aren't gonna go our way. And Coach Mel did a great job of showing what it's like to be responsible, picking things up, and getting back to practice. So good job, coach. Really love that. How's it going, guys? It's me, Coach Michael. And now we're gonna play the red light, green light game. Remember, red light means stop, green light means go. And this game's important because we're gonna work on our dribbling control. So come on. I'll show you guys how it's done. All right, you guys ready for this one? Red light, green light, the game. Ready, go. Red light. Green light, red light. Green light. Oh, good job, guys. Ready, go. Red light. Green light, red light. Green light, red light. Green light. Yeah, <laughs> Coach Mel coming through the strong finish. One thing I love about our two coaches is they have so much respect for each other. When we play soccer, we want to respect our teammates, we want to respect the opponent, and also respect the game. And the fun thing about this game is you can do different variations of it. So we can change the colors to mean different things. We always want to keep our red light, green light to mean stop and go. We can throw in yellow. So I know, for me, coaches, can you show us? Yellow can mean run around the ball three times. So when I say yellow light, show us, run around the ball three times, and back. Perfect. <laughs> or we can say purple light, which will mean jumping over the ball three times. Ready, go, purple. Awesome. Coach Michael here, we're gonna play the body ball game. And for this game, you're gonna need a partner and a ball, any ball. So for the rules, your partner is gonna start at one end of the field and you the other. And their job is to tell you which body part to touch the ball with. The point of this game is to dribble forward and always be in control while paying attention to what your partner says. So come on, this game's fun, so let's get it. In this game, I'm gonna call out commands, body parts, that you're gonna to have to touch the ball with as you dribble towards the other end. You guys got that? Got I'm gonna surprise you with some of them. On my go, ready, set, go. Knees. Good, up, go. Elbow. Awesome. Okay, ready, set, go. Head, go. Buns, go, 
Elbow, then knee. Great job, guys. And let's finish out.